Hello, and welcome to DynDeveloper.com. Uh, today's video is going to be on how to add a custom field to a Dynamics form and then refer to that field in VBA. There are three steps to this process. The first step is going to be to add the field to the form. The second step is going to be to set security to the modified form. And then the third step is going to be to code the VBA. So let's get started with that. We're going to modify the um, item form today. We're going to add a field in this area right here. So in order to add the field, that's our step one, we're going to do customize and then modify current window. So when we click on that, it opens up the, uh, the, the, the editor and we're going to click on this string field right here and then we're just going to click on the form and that drops the, the field on the form um, and we're going to size it but not go to a whole lot of trouble to do that. We're just going to kind of drop it in there. Um, we're going to open up the properties window and click on the data type, which currently says string 47. We're going to click on the ellipsis here and rename this thing to notes. So this is now the notes field. And we're all set. So we can head back to Dynamics now by clicking on File and then Microsoft Dynamics GP. Now, when we get back to Dynamics here, initially, we will not have security set to the custom form. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We click on Inventory and then Item, and we don't have the, the customization. That we're not looking at the modified form. So. In order to see the modified form, we need to go into Administration, and then Alternate Modified Forms and Reports. We need to call up the idea, which is almost always default user. Change the product to Microsoft, change the type to Windows, Tab, and then our. now we can see our modified form. The, this line right here is the standard Microsoft form, which security is currently set to. We're going to change it to our modified form. Save, close, back to the item maintenance form. And there we see that the field that we dropped on the form. And we also see up at the top here a dot right before the word item maintenance that indicates that this is a customized form. Um, a dot after item maintenance would mean that the customized form had VBA code behind it. It does not currently have that. So in order to add the, the VBA that we, we want, we're going to click on Tools and then Customize. And we're going to take three steps here. The first step is to add the current window to Visual Basic. Then we're going to add fields to Visual Basic. And then we're going to go into the Visual Basic Editor. So first of all, add the current window to Visual Basic. Bang, that's done. Next, Tools Customize, add fields to Visual Basic. When we click on this, we get uh, an unusual cursor, and just to keep things simple, we're only going to add two fields, our custom notes field and the item number field. Click. Um, to get out of this mode, we're going to hit the Escape key. Now Tools, Customize, and we're going to go over to the Visual Basic Editor now and write some code. So um, on the left-hand side here, we're going to select the item maintenance form and this is the code window for the item maintenance form. In this dropdown, um, we have the window, which is always there. And then we have the notes field and the item number field. Those are the two fields that we added um, in the last step. So just to write some code, we're going to click on the item number. And we get up the default event, which is before user changed. But I think we're going to change it to the changed event. So. Yeah, as, as the name implies, this event fires whenever the item number is changed. And whenever the item number changed, we're going to say me.notes is equal to me.item number. Um, and then just for fun, a couple of exclamation points that just so we can watch our code work. So this is going to fire and this is going to happen. And we're all going to be happy. Go back to the item maintenance form. In the bottom left corner, I'm going to click on one of these VCR buttons. The item number changes. And then when it changes, 
our custom field gets populated with that value. So that's how it all works. Thanks for watching.